you know what that is? Do you recognize that? It's your design. Oh it got made into a dress. Oh you made that? Or you drew it? Oh yeah, she God. drew it. And then Aunt Mandy had it made into a dress for you. Oh, oh, oh my yeah. God. Let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> do you like it? Yeah, oh my God. Oh my what do you God. tell Aunt Mandy? Thank you, Aunt Mandy. <laughs> I love it. I freak it out. your dress you designed. Let me see it front and back here. Hold it up. Hold it up to you. Let's see. Woo. Very cool. Let me see the back side. Is it the same print? Yep. Nice. What else did I get? Uh-oh, we got a matching one for American Girl doll. Oh, now you guys got a matching outfit. What do you think? Thank you, <laughs> you going to go try it on? You try it on your American Girl doll? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm going to give you this really special present, okay? So I'm really excited for you to check this out. Just, okay. Just open it. Okay. Oops, that was bad. Eyeballs! Designer. Yeah! <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. Let's go into the light and hold it up so everyone can see your pretty dress. Wait, like this. Come here. Wait, let me see. Hurry for the video. Hurry. <gasps> let me see your dress. <laughs> wow. I made this. You made that. How cool. <laughs> I made it like that. I'll bring your picture tomorrow so we can hold them up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think it is? Is that what it is? Yeah. What do you think? I love it. Um, I just love it. Is it's that your design? It's bigger than the gold. Yeah. The one I drew. It's got bigger patterns than the one I drew. So you can see it all really well. I just love it. Really?
really, really happy. Can I put it on? Definitely. Should we do that now? Yes. Okay. picture this show welcome this is the show where we explore the possibilities of wearing your imagination we try different techniques we try to use them with our picture this clothing templates so that they can become real wearable works of art one of a kind right all right all right so today I borrowed Zia's Disneyland lollipop themed headband it's getting slightly truncated at the top there Woo -hoo -hoo. anyway I borrowed this because this week's theme this week's theme and challenge every week we do a giveaway and a theme challenge this week's is national lollipop day. national lollipop day thank you for the jingle that was super good so technically yesterday july 20th was national lollipop day but why not celebrate all week long i love the theme you know and i think i talked about this on sunday we have seen tons of themes come through picture this clothing but i've only seen a very small handful like maybe five or six lollipop themed designs come through so i really want to see more i think they're fun they're colorful they're delicious let me just expose what we're doing today well how are we wait 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 before you do that before you do that um don't forget to get your template. So we we printed our templates first. So like, I just want to say we're going to use our picture of those templates. You can get those for free at pictureofthisclothing.com slash templates. So you can either download them or you can use digital ones, whatever your preference is. Um, if you go to the page, here are all your print at homes. And then we have pro digital ones if you prefer that. Oh, look at that. Do you want to? Oh, that. Oh my God. Would you mind grabbing that? Okay. Zia's going to step away while I, I explain this. So we have a few digital options here. Um, these three here are layered you files. You get this one like every time. I do forget that light every time. So we have the funny light. And there's still something in the corner over there, but it's, it's right. fine. It'll be our little friend for this, this session. It's in the, like, it's the corner's folded under. It's fine, though. We're good. I think right. it might be something else. I think it is something else. Oh, it's this. Oh, which nice. now Zia can reveal what we're going to do for today's design. Paint pouring. Paint pouring. <laughs> you got to <laughs> Enunciate the ing, she tells me. She's like, Mom, enunciate pouring. So there's no confusion in what you're saying. All right, cool. Which has happened in everyone else's videos. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you've watched a lot of tutorials in paint pouring. And I <laughs> paint have pouring. Paint pouring. <laughs> That's my like uh, Muppet paint pouring. Anyway, I love Muppets. Like the Muppet Show. Paint pouring. Anyway, um, so we've got our materials. I'm gonna run through our materials real quick, and then Zia is gonna take over and kind of instruct us. And I'm Even... gonna ask a very good question. Okay, and you gotta speak super loudly. Okay, so we have got some uh, washable acrylic paints. Um, and let's see, so acrylic paints are great. They're water-based, easy to clean up, um, easy to swirl together. They dry quickly relative to like oil-based paints. So we went with these um, washable acrylic paints. They came in little pouches, 99 cents each at Michael's. I'm and proud. Have a 20% off discount um, with your coupon at Michael's. So we did that. What were you proud of? I'm proud of making the curves of her picture. She made a beautiful rainbow And then I curve. made sure that like it was organized with the colors. I love it. Very cute. Very cute. Very but delicious. the question I would ask is, how are we supposed to make a lollipop with these? I don't know. I don't know. We, we may or we may not. We're going to try the paint pouring technique. We've also covered our desktop with a uh, drop cloth, a plastic painter's drop cloth. Taped it to the table so it wouldn't slide around too much. We printed out our picture of those clothing templates, which I think I'm gonna hollow out a couple and we can apply those later. Um, you've seen us do that before. And so, no worries. I will be here. National Lollipop Day, we're gonna, we're gonna 
we're going to move this, but and we'll talk about how to enter the the weekly drawing after we're done doing our little experiment. Zia, what else do we have? We have a couple glass containers. We have a bowl of water Bam. and white paint mixed together, which technically you're supposed to use an acrylic gesso to coat your canvas. Oh, we don't have that. We didn't have that, so Zia's like, let's try white paint and water, because some people will have done just like you can coat yeah, your canvas. Yeah, people recommend that. So. Okay, so we'll try that. I've been stirring the white. It kind of looks like milk. Um, oh, I've been yeah, stirring it. That. Yeah, it's, it looks like milk, like we're going to paint with milk. But And then we got a couple of just glass... Um, glass beakers or glass measuring. And I call the big one. So she got the big one, I got the little one. We have um, some toothpicks in case we need them. And then I guess we just get started. I thought those were matches. Oh, and another thing we have, we have canvases. We each have some canvases. Um, I got, got us each to, I bought like an eight pack of canvases from Michael's. They some over there. are fantastic. Yeah, there's still some over there, but I figured I one each. I we have acrylic. That's, I mean, they're all... I mean, I mean, metallic. Oh, metallic. There is a silver, a silver metallic. All right, I'm going to set one canvas each aside. It's acrylic. Need. Acrylic. It's like, they're of course all it's acrylic. acrylic. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fine. All right, what color are you going to use for yours? And what do we do? Like, you've watched the videos. You've watched a lot of tutorials on yes, this. Yes, I have. So we're so just going to pour our colors into these, and then we're going to pour it on in little circles, and it's going to look good. Okay, so should we put our paint in the glass? then coat our canvas so it doesn't dry too quickly yes and then pour our paint onto our canvas all right all right and if you are watching give us a hello in the comments because we love knowing that you're there and we love seeing you and i know it's a weekday and sometimes it's a little trickier to catch us um, while we're actually live now that folks are um, starting to go back to work and i don't know everybody has a lot going on right anyway i'm gonna put white in first that sound good? Maybe there's something that I want. I'm gonna like give my um we we took the time to pre-open and shake all of our paints just so that we would have an easier process. So but... that it's not like a whole time process. <laughs> it went in the trash can. At oh least. nice, that's nice. Sometimes there's air pressure. And so I'm gonna just squeeze the entire pouch. Is that does that sound about right? Um I don't that's a lot. I think you should rotate between some colors too. Oh, that's right, because you want layers? You want yes. to build layers? Okay. All right, so I used about a half a pouch to start. I'm gonna put in some black first. Um, for me. Can I have a pink one? Oh uh, yeah. Because I wanna, like, kind of like the colors in this little thing, I wanna try, um, I just wanna see what happens. I'm using metallic green, pink, and black. Today. And then you just, it moved right on? Yes. So you just pour it right on? Just layer it. Okay. Have fun. I used about a third of the pouch, maybe a, a fourth of the pouch for that one. Um, I definitely want to use some of this nice, um, like minty green, beautiful minty green color. And I'm learning that if I open it right over the paint and it has a little air pressure, um, it catches in that little bowl. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna throw some on there. And we do have our roll of paper towel, <laughs> just in case. Um, I'm going to put a little more white in again, just because I love the way the white looks. And then... Yours looks so happy. It is happy. I'm happy. What are you doing? I want to... Let's, let's pour what you're doing. Oh. I'm sorry. Let's put it in the camera so folks can see what you're doing, too. You're like the dark theme. It's funny, it's like a browser settings or app settings, night mode. I'm doing one and you're doing night mode. Yeah, because we're both using green and, and pink. Right. Which I never really use. Just kidding. All I right. usually just use black straight up. And but. then I'm going to add some bright, bright yellow. You know, that's one of my favorite colors in the whole wide world. Used to have really bright yellow hair, but I've been growing that out because... oh. I didn't do it over the table this time. It landed right on the table. All right. All right. So once, if I feel like I'm done adding paint, then what? What do I do next? Then you coat your canvas. Coat your canvas. Okay. I need a paper towel real quick. I don't know about you, but I got yellow everywhere. 
Yeah, I only got a tiny bit of black and it landed in the trash can, so. Somehow, you're like, everything, everything Zia does always seems to work out. <laughs> always. Always. It's like we experiment with something. Mom's goes terrible, Zia's goes great. I love it, though. I love how that happens. All right, I'm going to start coating my canvas. I'm going to give this an extra little stir, or milk water. No, it's not milk water. It's white um, acrylic paint and water. Just a little squeeze of white paint. It wasn't a lot. But I'm going to completely coat my canvas. Let, it's okay if it runs out on the sides. Um, you may even want to coat your sides separately. That's fine. I'm just going to completely coat it. And I used I, a lot of black. And I remember um, when I was in like art school, we would do that. It kind of primes your canvas. It gets it ready to um, take the paint. So, yeah. Anyway. Just so if you are doing it properly, it's G E S S O, um, and they sell it in bottles. And also, if you mix it with your acrylic when you're doing acrylics, it um, kind of gives you a little more long life for every bottle of paint that you try. So I'm gonna set the paint water over here, Z, for you. Ooh, yours is looking really spiffy. Check hers out. Her it looks like it reminds me of um, light tag or whatever. Laser tag. Laser tag. Oh, yeah. Like on the walls and stuff in there. Okay. Yeah. Now, should I move this around at all? Should I, like, do any pre-swirling or just start? You can just start. Okay. Uh, I feel so nervous. I'm going to go in, like, a lollipop swirl sort of mode. And it's weird because I'm getting a lot of it's all going to be yellow at first. Maybe I should just try. I would try going in the middle. Oh, okay. That's oh, cool. it seems like so much paint. Yeah. Kind of. That's kind of what you were saying, though, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to keep kind of going over and over. I feel like I'm going to end up with a big brown blob. You might. <laughs> and I see people do this sort of... Oops, I'm really making a mess. Let me move mine down. I just realized that mine's, like, up behind us. Some okay. people are so good at this, like... We watched a couple YouTube videos on it. There are people who are like really Someone did good. like Galaxy. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm just gonna go swirl all around. So is the idea though is not to like pre-design it too much, but you pour it on and then swirl it around, right? Yeah. But like none of my white even came out. <laughs> it's like it's mostly just um oops, I still have yellow on my thumbs and it's getting on my thing too. Alright, I need to dry my tabletop because all of the liquid that I painted no. on. Whoa, Zia's is so cool. See, this is what happens every time. Zia's is super cool. Mine is super weird. You know what I might do? Um, we have the second canvas, and I feel like this is just so much paint. Like, this will take a year to dry. I'm gonna get my other can. Oh my gosh, yours is so cool. All right, and I'm gonna try, like, running mine onto another canvas. But basically, you just do this, right? You like let it run a little. Yeah. Let it run for a minute. See what happens. <laughs> Yours looks so cool. Yours is always so cool. <laughs> Whoa, mine's starting to look neat though. Look. <gasps> I'm excited. I almost don't want it to go all the way because I don't want to ruin some of these amazing swirls that happen. Wow. So it did get some white in there, not very much, but my paint feels so slow. I guess it's just to have some patience, right? It's like, be patient. It'll all work out. I'm so not good with patience sometimes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm going to just let it run. Whoa, yours is so cool. Did I not do enough paint, actually? Is that why mine's so slow? Yeah. Like, maybe it's just not fat enough or swirled in the center a lot? Yeah, you need, like, a lot. <laughs> I feel like it's so thick. That's what's funny. And that's basically the point. Okay. Maybe I'll try a second one. All right, like this one's this, so I'm just gonna set that aside for now. I'm gonna try another one. Is the paintbrush? I like the green, so I'm just gonna. Even though I have this little, I'm gonna wipe that off real quick. Um, I'm just gonna try to not too damp with my thing. I got a little too damp and it's dripping everywhere. Yeah, that was what mine was doing too. So I'm just gonna try, but you never know, right? Like. I'll give you some paper towels here. Sorry about that. Yeah, try to do it where they can see. All right, go like that. Get the rest of my canvas here. And I'm just going to dump the rest of my paint right oh, in the it. middle. Oh, you're just so cool. All right, I'm going to throw this down too. 
just in case. I don't know. I'm always trying to be like super tidy, but we have a we have a sheet of plastic here. If it spills, it spills, and it shouldn't be a big deal, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna just try this, where I pour it the rest of what is in my little glass jar. I'm gonna pour in here. <laughs> it's just like a glob, glob, glob. I feel like my white didn't come out like at all. Oh, but it did, it just got swirled in. Oh, that's so interesting. I'm gonna go over this. I think that I have just increased my odds of ending up with a brown muddy mess. Yes. So we'll just see by doing this, but I wanna see what happens. Oh, look, it's running faster this time because of thick buildup, like, like you caught me. Oh my gosh, yours is so cool. Zia is so good at this stuff. All right. I think I need to just retire and let you run the show here. I can do that. All right. I think you should do that, seriously. Although we just talked about July wrapping you up in July so that you can focus on school and stuff like that. School and life. I'd rather not, but... All right. Well, now my globs aren't enough. I think I have to fill up my paint container a little bit more. Um, this is really neat, though. How far I'll go. That looks pretty cool so far. Which one? <laughs> Yours is amazing. Seriously. I love it. I don't <laughs> even understand. <laughs> You're like, which one? Like, which one? I thought you were complimenting mine for a second, which is kind of cool. I just don't know how to get it all the way to the end. Like, just be patient. Let it run. Okay, I'm going to try a little harder. I'm not very patient sometimes, am I? <sighs> <laughs> so funny if you need to you can make it stand up like straight like straight up and see if it'll run i feel like it must have started to dry or something oh no it's moving it is oh. moving it's just a slow oh yeah and you can go all the way down on the edges and stuff too right yeah like that's supposed to be one of the cool cool effects but yeah there are tons of really cool youtube videos on paint pouring i don't know if you have a favorite that you can recall um I have one of my favorites, but yeah. it isn't like professional, if that makes sense. It's just from one of my favorite YouTubers. Whoa, it's coming for me. It is? Yeah. Who is one of your favorite YouTubers? Um, Cassie or Gloom, whichever one you want to. We got all kinds of things happening over here. Sorry about that. It's dripping. Right. Woohoo! Alright, I'm just oh patiently trying to trying very patiently to let mine run. I think mine looks kind of neat. It's it's real squiggly, but whatever. I'm gonna try like holding it at a corner angle and seeing if it will, you know, kind of fill in that corner that it's missing. And then while that's happening, take a sip of tea. Yours is so cool. It's very, like, cool. I don't even know what to describe it as. Awesome. And Zia does it again. All right. <laughs> you know, I like that, actually. Like, you're kind of using your fingers to fill in the corners. Because, like, I do feel like there could be sort of a, a lollipop dealie going on here, like, for mine. Look at it. Are, are we good at this, or does it take more practice? I think it might take a little more practice. Oh, yeah. My finger smudges on the edges really didn't turn out all that awesome, but let's see if I can just go. I'm just trying to help it a little. I know, right? That's what I was like. Maybe I can just drag it out a little. Maybe that'll look okay. That'll make it look not Not paint on. pours? Yeah. But... Not paint poured? That's okay. I'm gonna just try it for the edges. I don't know. I'm creating a uh, little whoosh effect. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Don't touch it. Oh, not me. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I got you. I got you. 
touch here. Anyway, I did a whooshing, a little whooshing there on the edges. All right. Oh, I got some on. Look at that's kind of neat. I feel like I would be better at like a stamp technique or something. All right. So some things that I've learned about paint pouring is it requires a lot of paint, a lot of patience and maybe some practice, like anything, if you want to get good at it. However, Zia, on her first try ever, that looks pretty awesome, I have to say. Um, something that I'm going to do, so while you're letting your paint pouring dry, and I think what I'll do is take it out in our Las Vegas sun um, and set it outside and just let it dry that way. Um, they do recommend stuff like it. You could use a heat gun if you want. A hair dryer. A hair dryer. Just be careful if you're using those. Um, I know heat guns can, if you hold it in one spot too long, it can actually cause bubbling. Um, I, I worked at a, a paint studio for a while and we used heat guns a lot. And yeah, if you got too close to the canvas, um, we used to paint like 18 by 18 foot canvases, gigantic canvases um, for events and stuff, like big parties and events. Um, here in Vegas and yeah, it was like it was crazy, but we would use the heat guns So, you know, so we could move quickly and get things done quickly and it was fun a lot of fun I'm gonna cut out the center of this uh, Dress template while my paint is kind of drying then I can kind of show how this looks so our theme this week the lollipop national lollipop day inspired my design I've never seen a lollipop that looks like this, but I would like to, because it's really, really cool. If you've ever seen black lollipops, I guess like black licorice lollipops, I've seen those round ones that used to be really popular. They're like these round lollipops and like perfect circles, and they kind of look like the Death Star. Um, anyway, that that's looks pretty cool. I think it looks really, really good. And the thing with your Z is I feel like it's got all these subtleties that might be really hard to pick up um, unless you're really looking, but I want to kind of show it off because it looks amazing. It looks amazing. Just make sure it doesn't drip on you. Yeah, no, no worries. Oops, I got it on the pole over there. I got it all over. <laughs> but we have this, and we have also, you can use the white paint water. It's mostly fair if you use that. You just dip a little bit in. You can get your hands cleaned up a little. Um, oh, not not quite so much. <laughs> Just a little dot. Oh, that's so funny. Anyway, and then we can go wash our hands and stuff. Oh, you're dripping. Um, that's not the trash. Yeah, no worries though. But you know what? Like we did. I think, I think this was a lot of fun. Uh, we have another canvas. If you want to do any more, Z, that would be fun. Go ahead and. You know, we can kind of, I'm going to hollow out this and just Should kind of... I stay on live stream when I do it? For, for now, like, go ahead and just refill this, I guess. With They're like, colors. we have to end sometime. We don't have to end right this minute. Um, I would like to try a little bit more. Basically, what I want to do is demonstrate how if you, once your thing is dry, your creation is dry, if you want to create clothing out of it, you Ooh, can... there's like a couple bubble colors that I like. Yeah, yeah. Like this. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. But yeah, if you want to create, you know, clothes out of what you've created with your paint pouring, um, you can either wait till it dries, and then you'll take a photo of it with a, a picture of this clothing template laid right on top of it. And look how cool that actually is. And same, you know, like how cool. Ooh, that would be cool. It really would. I just stuck my hand right in it. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> oh, you're going to add like a blob? Now you're modifying your natural creation. Whoa, that's so neat though. What is this? Just a couple of blobs. I like it. I really like it. She's like, it needs more purple. I like that though, Z. I think that's really neat. And, you know, again, so once it's dry, you can lay the template flat so you don't get any shadows and you have Ooh. a free hand for uh, taking a photo with your I smartphone. I might actually add a tiny bit of orange. Okay, that sounds good. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> the air pressure. It's a huge bubble, look. That's so funny. The air pressure. The air pressure gets us every time. 
That's so funny. I really like these, though. I have to say, like, I'm happier. Like, I think it turned out all right. And granted, I smudged it out with a, uh, a paintbrush. Man, I'm getting paint everywhere that I can tell you that. Glad we have a sheet of plastic. Highly recommend the sheet of plastic. What happened to the paper towels? I took them and I put them on my side. <laughs> Do you need another one, kiddo? Maybe. Anyway, I've made a beautiful mess here and I like that. <gasps> yeah, wait, maybe. There's no chat showing up, so Ken poked his head in. There's no, is anybody commenting? Oh, we're missing comments. If, you know, I tried to reset it and we're missing comments. So hang on one second. I'm gonna try something real quick. Just to see. I didn't realize I had a paper cut open. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna see if I can find any of your comments here because our, our little chat thing's not showing up um, like it normally does. So, oh, here we go. We have, okay, we have Sue. Our paint seems really thick. You know, I was thinking the same thing and it might just be these little pouches is a little thicker than some of the acrylic. Um, Jamie, yours looks psychedelic, Tara says. It does, and then looks like you have enough of the canvas covered you can position the cutout of the template. It's true, you know, like I think, and I have my template upside down, which is fine. Um, like even if, you know, if what you're going for is to do something with the picture of this clothing template. Um, once it's dry, you can just lay that right on top. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay this one right on top of here so you can get an idea. But like, when it's dry, you'll lay your template right on top and you can do your smartphone photo. And then Sue says, using a hairdryer in your paint pour makes it run faster and spread faster. It's called Dutch something, fun to watch. Oh, that's really cool. So you can get the, the hairdryer and actually blow the paint in certain directions. Sort of like when we did the, um, remember when we did the crayon, melted crayon one? Yeah. Like that was a lot of fun and, and super cool. And the hairdryer really worked awesomely for that. So right now I'm only able to see Facebook comments and I can see them now. So I apologize for that, for all of you that have been talking to us and we've been ignoring you. I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, it's so funny. Um, man. So yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this. Zia's going to do another attempt here. And I think Z, if you, should we try oh. it on? Do you want a wet canvas again? Oh, I was going to put it, it on the same canvas. Oh, on this canvas? Yeah. Oh, okay. Keep going. You don't want a new canvas. All right. No worries. We can save the new canvas for later. Because I have a, I want a tiny, look at. Oh, uh, that's so neat. Oh, it reminds me of robots or something. It's metallic lollipops. <laughs> oh, I really love it. I feel like Zia's turned out so neat. Mine's okay. Mine's all right. I want the black to bring through a little bit more, you know? Yeah. Ooh, that's so neat, though. I love it. I think with mine, I think that maybe I didn't. I mean, it seems like a ton of paint, but like yeah, Zia's out. ran... That's so cool. Um, when she's able to move her hand, you'll see how cool this is looking. It's so neat. Bloop, bloop. Um, but yeah, just the layers and layers. Oh man. Cool, here, let me get I have you. robot fingers. Robot fingers. There you go. <laughs> oh. I can hold my fingers. We had a like damp one somewhere. Hand. I just stuck my hand in yeah, the black paint. <laughs> no worries. No worries. All right. Be happy. Yeah, no worries. Be happy. I like that. Oh, I dropped the template into the trash. Oops. Oh, you oops. Ah, they're going everywhere. Did you want a shirt one? You want me to make a shirt template for you? Um, and I did my dress over here. So as an example, don't forget to design and sign. Sign your name so that we know who created it. And if you, if you order or you win one um, from a random drawing that we do every Sunday, um, if your name's on it, that gets printed inside the hem, which makes it a super cool memorabilia type keepsake and, um, and just keeps it fun and personal, right? All right. All right, Missia, I think I'm gonna start wrapping things up. Whoa, show it on the camera, show it on the camera. It's so cool. Holy moly, hers is moving so fast. 
Whoa, and she's letting it go all the way over the edge, which is really cool because then, like I'll kind of show over here, it, if you were gonna hang this on the wall, um, your canvas on the wall, and it goes all the way around the edge, it just looks so much more like pro. <laughs> it's super cool. And that's something for sure. You always wanna get your edges when you're doing a painting. You don't wanna leave them raw like this. Um, and that's something that if you're concerned about too, you could always pre-paint a little bit of your edges and look what I do every time. I keep resting my arm somehow magically and just try to keep it over the plastic and then that way it won't drip on your, your little pants that are already painted. I love this though. And I slide it forward to the edge up here. Oh my gosh, look how cool. I love it. It's like a galactic robot. I love it. Can I show what you're doing here? Yeah. Okay, I'll go like this because it can run down on this side a little bit too, which is just neat. Look at that edge looks amazing. Look at that edge. Yeah. Really cool. Oh my gosh. It's so awesome. That edge looks awesome too. We got a couple white spaces, but not much. Here, I'm going to spin it around like a pizza. Like a pizza, pizza. pie. Pizza. Like a pizza pie. Right. Sweet. Touch it up a little. And then. So Zia's is really, I think, what we'll do too is in the comments um, on our Facebook page, we'll post what the finished, like I'll take a picture of these when they're all dry. We do that often. So if you've watched one of our live streams and you're wondering what the end product we looks like, we often do that. We'll post a few hours later or the next day or whatever, what it ended up looking like, um, you know, when it was all done or dry. Like, what did we do last Thursday? We did... Um, Australian Aboriginal art techniques with like dots and lines and creatures and stuff like that. I and I have a picture. Zia um, kept going after the live stream, and we posted a couple of hers that really turned out neat. Um, what? Oh, you need more. Yeah. Okay, I need to put this down. Hang on. All right. First, first, first things first. One for you. Second. We're very talented here, huh? All right, second, I'm going to go like this. And third, I'm going to lay your painting down like that. And Z is so cool. I love it, Z. Oh, cleanup's going to be fun, but not too bad because we used glass containers, super easy to clean, um, and we covered everything with plastic. And here, <laughs> like, yeah, our bathing, our milk water, <laughs> our water is now gray and oreo water yeah it does it looks like oreo like smashed up oreo shaped water all right i think that's it for today so um before we go if you want to enter this week's challenge here's how to enter print free templates from picturethisclothing.com design and sign somewhat as we've demoed today you can do it any way you want does not have to be paint pouring it can be, be marker it does not have to be pencils right it can be anything you can imagine and want to design and wear our theme this week is national lollipop day um, once you've got your design created and signed you're going to take a smartphone photo of your artwork email it to us at hello at picturethisclothing.com and you'll do that Friday by midnight, July 24th. Um, and then on Sunday during our live stream, we will announce via random drawing um, the winner. So we hope that you get, uh, you you know, do an entry. Last week we had, what, eight entries. So your odds of winning a gift certificate are very high. And your gift certificate is good for anything that you want. It doesn't have to be what you submit for the um, contest. Clean hands. It can be anything that you design, um, up to $49 value plus free shipping. So I like yours. It reminds me of Animal Crossing. Does it? It's cute. I feel like it's cute. It's all right. I'm not, like, I probably should have let it spread out a little I bit. I wish I had cool. red. You know what? I was thinking that, too. I didn't get any little pouches of red paint. Red would be really nice, huh? All right, well, let's go ahead and close out. I think we did A-OK -okay today. Um, just checking to make sure we don't have any more comments that I missed. Look behind us, our beautiful designs. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, watching us attempt for the first time ever paint pouring. Um, 
yeah, it was fun. Thank you for sharing this. Um, this suggestion came from you. So if you have other suggestions of things you'd like us to try, um, and then we can show you how it looks printed on clothing too. So once these are dry, I think we should do a shirt and a dress out of these. What do you think? Would you wear that? Do you? <laughs> She's too focused on the toothpick. Did you hear what I asked? No. Oh, would you wear that if I made a shirt for you or a dress? No. <laughs> Great. I might make leggings out of yours. I think yours would make really cool leggings. Um, I think mine would make really cool leggings too. Very psychedelic indeed, as Tara commented. All right. We are going to say thank you. Zia is now adding toothpick swipe. Oh, very cool. Very cool. She's adding little toothpick swipes. I forgot we did have some toothpicks. Me too. Ready. And then uh, in case we needed them, little plastic swords or the little wooden ones, either way. But that can help do some really cool. Uh, that's a great way to spread it rather than trying to use your fingers. So, all right. Thank you. Shares and likes and all the good things. If you like what we're doing, if you want to see more, we need your suggestions. We would love to create um, using things that you um, inspire us to, to create with. Um, we've done so many things, but you know, just when we think we've done it all or seen it all, we get suggestions that um, we have blow done. our minds. Yeah, that we haven't done. All right, take care. We'll see you Thursday. We're gonna learn some new techniques. We'll see what those are um, Thursday at 11 and then Sunday at 11 Pacific time AM. Um, we'll do our drawing. All right. Here we go.